is your Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, February the 23rd, 2019. It's the feast of St. Polycarp of Smyrna. Smyrna is one of the seven churches mentioned in the book of Revelation. It's located in modern Turkey, what used to be called Asia Minor. Polycarp, whose name is always on my go-to list of funny saint names, was a disciple of St. John, the beloved disciple and lived from the 60s AD until about 155. His name sounds like many fish, but it actually translates to much fruit, as in he was a very successful preacher and evangelist. We don't know much about him beyond his role as a bishop, a single letter to the Philippians that bears his signature, that he was considered on par with the two big bishops of the day, St. Clement of Rome and St. Ignatius of Antioch, and that he was martyred by the Roman Emperor Antonius Pius. Even though we don't know much about him, his name pops up quite a lot in those early texts, and so he was clearly a major player, an important saint of the time. Various saints and religious founders have invoked his prayers for their efforts, and we would probably do well to ask him to pray for us. Today in 1455, the Gutenberg Bible was first published. It was the first Western book printed with movable type. It was really big deal for two reasons. First, it gave the upper middle class the ability to own an actual book. Prior to this, books were either hand copied or produced on gigantic woodcut printing systems. Books were on par with modern cars in terms of cost. Owning a single short book would have been a major status symbol. Owning a long book like a Bible was reserved for monasteries, cathedrals, and royalty. The original printing of the Gutenberg Bible was not quite the revolution in religion that it is sometimes portrayed as. Sure, the upper middle class could now afford a Bible, but they had no training in how to read or interpret the texts, and the books were still very expensive, which made reading it something that was special and reserved, and you certainly wouldn't have had highlighters or bookmarks or book tabs installed. The journey from the Gutenberg Bible to the Gideon version in your hotel room was a couple of hundred years long. That said, it's impossible to overstate the importance of today in 1455 and the power that the movable type printing press would have to change the world and society at large. Finally, today is the birthday in 1685 of George Friedrich Handel. Handel was born in the Prussian part of Germany, down south, and learned music there, but resettled in London just before he turned 30. He was heavily influenced by the Prussian and Italian musical traditions, and he thrived in his operas. By the time he gained his British citizenship, he had already founded three commercial opera companies and written numerous organ concertos in religious settings. While Handel is now most famous for his Alleluia Chorus from Messiah, he was most beloved in his time for the way that his operas were actually dramatic settings. Many operas of that time were just musical numbers interspersed with token actions and and amateur, tedious script. Handel was a genuine dramatist, which was probably inherited from his German background. And so his shows felt more intact and engaging in a way that something like Bizet's Carmen could never be. Handel died at the age of 74, and was buried in Westminster Cathedral, and the last of his own works he ever attended was a performance of Messiah. How appropriate. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.